Okay, here I'm going to try to uh, film myself doing something. Uh, I recently uh, had a bit of uh, problems procuring some more of uh, those 24 volt actuators that I use, and I got some really big 36 volt ones. And I was having a bit of problem with them on the full load. I needed to boost the uh, voltage coming from the 12 volt circuit. And after buying several different types of boost circuits, I finally I finally found one that actually works. And I'm actually going to go through the process of setting this up. I have these boxes, which that's a whole other story in itself. Once you find the uh, circuit, you got to find something to put it in. But anyway, right now I'm going to hook up a 12 volt battery, which is my jump box in the background. I'm going to hook up the cable, and you should see that little red light come on. And then over here on my multimeter, we we'll see what kind of voltage we get out of this. If I disconnect that, it will stay lit up. That's the capacitors are charged. Okay, so it is 12 volts. And look what I got. 20 volts coming out. Now there's a screw in here. And if you turn this screw... Well, you got the right size screwdriver. And you can see, it's always important. And it's easy to do when not trying to make a video at the same time. Okay, I'm going to have to cut this. Oh, wait a minute. There it goes. All right, now the voltage is falling, if you can see it. I want to get this down to 18 volts. Because I can run my... Uh, Axe tracker boards up to 18 volts without hurting them, and then of course the new ones I have now will go 18 or 24. But this it has many applications besides this. I mean, you can use this to charge batteries or something that needs more power than 12 volts, and it's good for up to 180 watts. So there I have it. It's 18 volts in, 18 volts out rather, and 12 volts in. And then you can watch the voltage fall, and that light will stay on. It's hard to do all this. And I'm going to disconnect the battery, and the light will stay on, and the voltage will fall because the caps are charged. Watch. See the voltage dropping? 13, 12. That light will eventually go dim and go off. That's why they work so well. they got two pretty good size uh, capacitors in there. And they got uh, nice voltage regulators and some nice heat sinks. Had the lights off. Now it's down to one volt. And I'm going to come over here again and hook up the uh, negative wire. There's the red light. And after a second, it evens out, and there it is, 18 volts. So that's pretty slick. And they found this nice waterproof box to put it in. And drilled a couple holes in the back with some stainless steel screws and now that can just sit outside or you can put it in your vehicle or in your house or whatever you had a use to use this for and you can get up to 35 volts out of this with 12 volts in I'm only trying to boost about 6 volts for my purpose and uh, it solved my problem because I needed to run those big giant actuators and I found if I went to half voltage, which is 18 volts, they worked identical to the 24 volts running at 12 volts. So it's just perfect. But as I said, I bought several of them that just didn't work out because they weren't capable of putting out enough uh, power. And these just worked out nice. So anyway, I thought I'd share that if anybody is having a similar problem. These things are all over eBay. Okay, I'm going to give a quick demonstration. Uh, that's my new addition of the uh, small tractor. Very nice, but I'm going to let you hear the difference. That's a 24-volt uh, actuator. I'm going to flip this over to manual. And you can hear the motor. I won't be able to say anything. That's 12 volts powering 24 volts. 
Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these wires off here and I'm going to hook them to the uh, boost box and run 18 volts into this. Then I'll show you what that does. Okay, now here what I've done, obviously you got to put a fuse in here. I think that's a 5 amp fuse, 12 volts. Coming into the boost box, the 18 volts out, which is the red and black and the black and white wire, are going into the, uh, the uh, solar tracker controller. And I got that set to manual, and now you can listen to the difference it made in the motor. It's much faster. I'm sure you can hear the difference. Now, I'm really not concerned with this so much on uh, speed as I was for power, but they work out real well. And this is a waterproof box, you just screw it to the pole and 18 volts is safe. I wouldn't put any more than that in that, but like I said, you can use it for many different things. Now, on the 36 volt actuators, which I don't have handy, that 18 volts made all the difference in the world. So that's a little demonstration of how that actually works. And that's it. I'm done.